Okay, so this video um, I just threw together real quick because somebody in the comments section uh, requested it. Um, and I'm probably going to have to cut through uh, some stuff here. Um, so basically what I did is um, I made a new game. I used a couple of mods to get to Act 4 really quick at the right level. Um, I did it on Classic, not Tactician. I usually do Tactician or Honor. But I did it on Classic just to make it a little bit quicker. Um, but anyway, the person wanted to know... Uh, what would happen if you followed through with releasing the Death Fog in arcs uh, in regards to how the surviving enemies would react and also how your party members would react? Uh, specifically, they wanted to know how Adra Malik, the doctor, would react. Uh, they wanted to know uh, if Seguina Tell, the other big ish demon in arcs, how she would, you know, interact with you about it. Linda Kem. Um, and I think those are the only ones they specified. So I'm going to go through those three, show you how they react, and also how it would affect different party members. Uh, so because they mentioned party members, um, I brought these three party members, and I had Fane as the starting character. Um, I picked this party because Fane, being the main character, uh, he can be sworn to the God King in Act 3. Um, and in that instance, if you're an undead character and sworn to the God King... Uh, when you defeat Isbale, which is what we just did here, and she's the one who has the big death fog machine, so she's relevant to the uh, question that was asked in the comments. Um, anyway, if, if you swore to the God King after you defeat Isbale, uh, he'll start talking to you, and uh, he'll like demand that you uh, use this machine and release death fog. And I think Iphen has something to say about that. Uh, anyway, so anyway, so I picked Fame because the God King will make him or make you do this if you're sworn to the God King. Um, Ifen, I mean, most people in the game in general are very anti-Death Fog, but Ifen is, like, super anti-Death Fog because he got tricked into delivering, like, a Death Fog bomb to the L. So he's, like, scarred from past experiences with Death Fog, and I'm pretty sure that's what he's going to say here when the little exclamation point popped up. Um, so he is extra against this. Beast also reacts very uniquely um, to being against the Death Fog, because his whole arc, quest, whatever you want to call it, is about how the Queen of the Dwarves is making this Death Fog machine, and he's trying to, like, take her down, and then when he realizes she's being manipulated, he's like, yeah, we still gotta get rid of the bomb, and then it's, it's up to you at the end, really, if you want to kill the Queen or, like, let her live because she was being manipulated and not the one, you know, behind the death fog bomb necessarily i mean she kind of was but she kind of wasn't anyway so so Ifen and beast i brought because they react in a specific manner to this death fog bomb um well i knew beast did i assumed Ifen did and by the looks of this it seems like he does and i brought losa because he asked how the doctor would react so i didn't know if the doctor would react differently if we brought losa or not so i'm not going to do the whole candle thing with losa i'm going to go in without that and see if we can like side with the doctor maybe or maybe he won't side with us because we're sworn to the god king i don't know we're gonna find out all right uh promise me, promise me you've never unleashed death fog uh, da, 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 da. yeah i guess we're gonna go with this one for this if you try such a thing it'll be he releases your okay so he just kind of threatens you all right uh so let's uh, da, da, da. Yep. Um, so Beast wants you to redirect, redirect the Death Fog. Uh, Lissa says to do also go out. And then Iphen wants you to destroy it. Which, ironically, I think if you destroy it, it actually blows up and, like, fogs up the uh, sewer here, I think. Um... If Arcs falls, so do the Magisters. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go, so. Alright. Alright, so now we uh, release the Death Fog with the machine. I can't really skip through this here. Yeah. <coughs> now, I also picked Fane, because as an undead, he can walk freely through the Death Fog once it's released. Okay. Okay, so yeah, yeah, Beast and Ifen just like instantly just boom. Just show yourself to be the tyrant I thought Justenia was. 
No dialogue from Iphen? Okay. Alright, um, now... Alright, um, so we're gonna start with rain, get their resistances lowered. Thunderstorm, they're both right next to each other, so it should double hit. Okay, good. Um, and then we'll just do that so Fane gets a little boost, even though I don't think he'll need it. Okay, and then Fane, we've got Pyroclastic Eruption. We'll just go bada bing bada boom. Dead. Okay, so now Fane can talk to Losa. Yay, we saved the city, Patrick. Okay. Um, I had no choice. The guy king demanded it. Oops! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad Los has taken it in stride. Uh, yeah, unless they had gold, which doesn't really even matter. Oh, yeah, I could have forgot I haven't used that. Alright, and I want. Is Justinia still back here now, then? Okay, I just want to see if I can release the Death Hog and spare the Queen. Um. All right. I, yeah, I was a little curious if you release a death log, if you'd have to kill the queen or not. All right. Now Losa might die here in a second, uh, but we're gonna go check on with where they're currently at. Linderkem should still be in the Paladin upper floor, like the, the city floor uh, of the Paladin build or the Magister building. Um. Andre Malik should still be in his place, and Seguina Till should be, still be in their place. So, there's going to be a lot of death fog. It's mostly, like, around the existing sewer pipes, I thought. Okay, it's been a while. There's more death fog here than I thought. Oh, yeah, and this guy's from the doctor. Um, yeah, just, yeah, okay, cool. Alright, so there is enough gap in between the death fog areas to, uh... Not instantly die. I thought it was most. I thought the death fog was around these two. Why is this going so slow? Okay, so there's not enough of a gap for Losa to walk through. That's fine. Uh, we also have. Got, why is this so slow? Oh, there's some red dots. Are those? Yeah, they're the, the puppets. Okay, so if I try to revive Losa, okay. Um, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, I'm also using the mod. Sorry, I think I cut myself off there. Using the mod where bedrolls will revive you out of combat because I just wanted to go through this quick. Why is it so laggy? Like, this is really slow there. Okay. Anyway, for Seguina Till, you have to give her blood to make her little pact. And if you side with the doctor, I think you also need to give him blood. But if I have Losa in the party and decide to side with him... Maybe not, but then Losa wouldn't be able to side with Seguina Till. Anyway, I don't know if you can side with Seguina Till and the Doctor regardless. I haven't actually tried that. God, this is going so slow. I'm sorry for the five people that'll end up watching this far in. Alright, some more Death Fog there, which I suppose we should avoid. I mean, Fane doesn't have to, but uh, Losa can. Oh, he also asked how it would interact with Adra Malik's. Uh, followers, his little demon henchmen. So, I don't see the one that's normally over there. Um, yeah, so normally one of Adra Malik's little citizen disguised people, normally they'd be walking around over here, and I do not see them. So, I mean, I'm going to assume it didn't kill them. I think all of Adra Malik's people are immune to being killed by Death Fog. Um, but uh, Seguina Till, or Tell, seems to still be in there, so we're going to quick save real quick. Oh, I thought I had to lockpick that. Okay. Uh, so we're going to come in and talk to Seguina uh, just to see what she says here. The proprietress gives you a business, is a little quiet um. today. <laughs> She hasn't the foggiest idea why. You look like someone who's ready for business. You look like someone with an eye. Let's just say that you don't build a long-term business without learning to negotiate the uh, <laughs> changing wind. I knew it the moment you Oliver, you're up, and I always. You understand? I'm sure yeah, okay, so she doesn't actually um, 
Yeah, <laughs> cheek commander. We wanted to get stuff done really quick. All right. Um, so she doesn't seem to really change a whole lot at all. I'm not going to fight her because I don't think the death fog will affect her combat dialogue at all. And the whole point of this video is to see how death fog affects the people who survive the death fog. So we're going to head over to the doctor's house with some lag. Why? Like, I don't get why it's lag. Like, I'm even playing in offline mode. Alright, um, Malady survives as well. Haven't shall I continue? What? Are you crazy? <laughs> if I found out something that could help me, I sure as hell want to close his eyes. Thank you. Does that okay, I've never actually denied going into that realm before. Wait, does that Melody. Alright, uh we're gonna do the doctor second or last actually i want to uh check out oh god okay let's just get rid of some of this death fog so that losa can move around a little bit more freely here um, that should do it all right let's go over here Um, yeah, so I'm not seeing Linder Kem over here. He's normally in here, I think, before. Because I, I didn't do anything with, like, discovering stuff in the barracks. Like, I just talked to him, he executed the paladin, and that was it. Okay, um, let's check over here. I, I don't want to go through all the sewer stuff. God, like, that's just stopping. Like, that's just it being really laggy. I don't know. I don't even get... How, like, I'm playing an offline mode on a single-player game. I don't get why this is lagging. Um, yeah, I don't really want to go through all the stuff to get into Kem's vault right now. But... I might have to here, maybe. So let's try going through the Magister Barrack stuff. So I guess I will have to edit this video. So I might not be able to get it up the day that I started this. It'll probably be going up tomorrow then. So by the way, this is being recorded Wednesday, September 23rd. Uh, the comment asking for this was left last night. Um, so it might take an extra day to get the video up. Or it might just be up really late tonight. I don't know. So, oh, are they all dead already in here? Yeah, Magister Raymond, dead. Okay, so... Alright. That would mean... That, uh, I guess I have to go into the sewers here. And get the paintings for Kem's, uh, vault. I could just steal this, I think. Yeah, but I'm going to go talk to her. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Offer to buy it. Doesn't matter. Offer to buy it. There we go. Pay her. Okay. That, that, that took way too many clicks. <laughs> Alright. Uh, now, can I sneak past these stupid things? Technically, yes, but I don't know if I'm going to be paying enough attention. I have Cloak and Dagger. I should be able to get through here, no problem. Okay, and I have no idea, because usually if I release the Death Fog, I'll, like, reload, or just that'll be the last thing I do in that save. But I have no idea if uh, Arhu's going to be alive down here, even. Um... Which is weird, because this is coming out, this is going up on YouTube before my guide videos get to this part. <laughs> like, they're all recorded, I'm just lazy with editing. Um, also, with Cheat Commander, I just bumped up my civil abilities for convenience sake, so... Yeah, if you want to get through the game in one sitting, you know, Cheat Commander, there you go, just fly through. Wouldn't recommend for your first time through, kind of takes fun out of it. But if you want to make a video specifically about stuff in Act 4 here... Uh, that's the way to go. Alright, so we're just going to do that. 
rechain them. All right, and Arhu is still here. See, I have no idea if Linderkam is even going to show up now. Okay. Probably should have stocked up on, like, teleportation scrolls here. Alright, so Losa is going to head over here. And let's... I don't think that's going to kill. Oh, it will kill. Okay, very nice. Um, I don't like that I can't get up there, but we could always, you know... Do one of those. Okay, Linderkam does show up. Oh, oh I should have said the sworn thing. Oh, well. Yeah, he's just going to spark up. We're on classic, so I'm not really concerned about him like I normally would be. <laughs> yeah. All right, so not a whole lot of difference on Linderkam. Pretty much... The exact same setup whether you use death fog or not so now we're gonna go to not that one now we're gonna check the doctor real quick uh without blowing out his candles whoops um so we know the doctor lives from the death fog okay okay so i don't have the option to trade with him so that's something okay Okay. All right. So something about Death Fog he does mention. <clears throat> so I don't even know if you can side with him if Losa's in your party and you yourself are not Losa. Every time I have sided with the Doctor, I just didn't have Losa in my party. If that were true, I'd be looking out through your eyes right this moment. We both know I could, but I don't. Mm. Why? Because I ha! respect. You wouldn't know. I won't deny. This is also weird. I don't think I've ever done Losa's like this interaction with the doctor with Losa without blowing out the candles first. You're difficult, Losa. You know that? You push people mm. to the edge. And then you're surprised when they get desperate. I've pushed you to the edge. You've been sucking the joy from my life. You're nothing but a sad little creep, desperate to be something. I have given you everything. Sorry, I'm I know I'm being real quiet, and I don't think the audio is very loud. But I'm just sorry. I'm just reading. <laughs> Alright, so you can't, uh, you can't side with him, with Losa in your party, that's interesting. Anyway, okay, so the Doctor's dialogue there, nothing really different with the Death Fog. He says it a little bit different, but not too much. Okay, so you just have the option to hit continue. You can't actually pick her dialogue options. That's pretty much what I expected, but I was hoping maybe you could pick something. Okay, yeah, so he doesn't really say anything different because of the death fog. He is alive, though. Like, that much I knew was going to be the case. Um, you can't really change that. Where is... Where did I put the... Oh, well, okay. I'm like, which pyramid is in the doctor's house? Because I didn't want to use that one. Um, yeah, I guess I really don't even need to do this. What am I doing? Yeah, okay. Um, so anyway, yeah. He doesn't really uh, change his dialogue around very much. Anyway, so he doesn't say much different. 
Uh, Linder Cam doesn't say much different. Seguina Tell doesn't say much different. The biggest difference is certain party members, just Beast and Iphen, will automatically leave the party, turn on you, um, and you'll have to fight them right then and there. Uh, Red Prince and Sibyl, very similar to Losa in that respect. They'll just be like, oh man. Like, what did Losa say? Oops. Yeah, they don't just go oops, I don't think. Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I released the Death Fog. Um, but if I, if Fane wasn't the main character, or if the Red Prince or Sibyl, they, they wouldn't turn you. It's just Beast and Iphen, because they are very specifically anti-Death Fog. That's what I wanted to show here. Hold on. I do have something else to toss in here real quick. Anyway, I just want to show... Uh, because I grabbed a Death Fog barrel while I was in the sewers there. Uh, even if you take Death Fog, and I'm just going to put it right here so it'll hit him and one of his little servants there. Um, even if you hit Death Fog there, it doesn't affect these guys at all. Doesn't affect the Doctor at all. Um, but for some reason, yeah, I believe these ones are also immune to Death Fog because I think he, like, killed them and then just, like, did something, like, possessed their body. I don't remember. The, the lore behind it, but I think they can't die from Death Fog either. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Death Fog can't kill these guys, doesn't kill Linder Kim or Sequina Tell. Um, and that's it. I hope that video covered everything that the person in the comments wanted covered. Um, yeah, alright. There's the video Death Fog in Arcs.